Hey there, in this video series, you are going to learn how to build a grain bin house. We are doing it, my husband actually is building it. I am his assistant whenever he needs assistance and here and there we'll hire people to help. But basically it's a project that we're doing on our property and you can kind of see a peek in the back there of where we're at so far. But I'm gonna take you from the beginning and show you what a grain bin house is and two, what process you need to go through to do it. Um, I have some pictures here of what a grain bin house is, and I really wanna point out the difference between a silo and a grain bin. They are not the same thing, but here's some cool pictures. You can look at those right now and just get an idea. And you can see that some people live in them. Some people have old ones maybe on their piece of property and they remodel them and move into them. And what we're gonna do is turn ours into a VRBO, which is a short-term rental, vacation rental by owner. And we're making it large enough for a family of eight people, at least, to come in and stay. Um, why are we doing this? Uh, we have, we decided that we wanted to provide a place for somebody to stay in our beautiful area. And most of the rentals around here are small. They're usually little cottage, they're durable. A lot of little cottages, little mini homes, things like that. So we did a little bit of research there and decided that we wanted to get into the unique part of vacation rentals. And what that means is your vacation rental is different. Um, I have other ideas of things I'd like to do, but this is our first one. So we're gonna stick with this. As I do the other ideas, we'll just keep sharing. What do you need to do first? First of all, you could go buy a piece of land that already has a grain bin on it, or you can build it yourself brand new. And that's how we're doing it. We went and bought a new one, and I'll go through that process with you. But before you do anything, make sure you have a place to build it. And two, make sure you have all the permits. Make sure you're allowed to. Now, we're very, very fortunate in this area no permits. The only thing, well, I shouldn't say none. The only thing we need permits on are a septic, because we're going to put a septic system in, and the well. And we've already had people out here to inspect that. And I, you'll see flags out there anytime I go walk around. Um, we haven't, as of this video, I haven't gotten my permit or my certificate license yet to do it. Usually the permit um, lasts about a year. You have to pay for that. You have to pay for them to come out, look at the land, everything. It's, they just, pay for everything. So we're very fortunate that we only have to worry about those two things. Um, we have not hired the people that we want to come out and do it yet. Um, we're in that process. But I just want to bring you through the beginning of our thought processes and where we're at. And then each video, as we're building, as we're dreaming, as we're changing things, you get to go on that journey with us. You will get to meet my husband, Carl, not in this video, but you he do, he's doing all the work. Like I said, he sits down in his chair every night and he's planning and drawing up um, the, the different plans and the measurements and his steps. And, and then he's on Facebook Marketplace looking for materials. There's always people out there that have, th um, they have an oversupply of materials and he'll just hook up his trailer and go pick it up, pay cash for it, and you can save hundreds of dollars. Now, we have the liberty of not being in any kind of a rush. We don't have a time frame. So for us, this works. Um, those of you who like things to go really fast, you may not want to do that. But I do want to bring you on this journey with us. I'm really, really, really excited about it. The other thing we're going to do with this grain bin is use it as an overflow. Our family, from us down to grandkids, there's 18 of us, and they just don't fit in the house anymore. I have grandkids that are already in their teens, young adults, and they don't want to sleep on the floor. So I'm really excited about that, that now the whole family can come out and spend the night because we live a good hour and a half from everybody. And it's hard to drive in the dark out here. There's there's no lighting or anything. Um, so that's that's exciting, too. So twofold thing there. I'm going to show you um, a video I made back in June. So this has been about six months ago and just kind of share with you my dream. And then after that, I'll show you some pictures of what this looked like before that okay so enjoy and i hope more than anything more than anything i hope this inspires you to fulfill your dream and it doesn't have to be building a green bin it can be something else but just go for it don't don't wait till everything's perfect it's it kind of reminds me of people who say I don't want to have any kids until I have money. You're never, you're never going to be ready. You're never going to have what you, it, it's never going to be the perfect time. So just jump in, 
and do it. And that's my goal of showing my mission to you is to encourage you to pursue your dream, whatever it is, and share, share below and tell us what that is. So I've been sharing this dream with my husband for a little while now. We have been in the rental business. Um, we've had as many as three rentals. You know, we're just small time, but we're down to two and they're up in Dayton, which is about 60 miles from us. And one of the things we don't like about renting is the distance of where it's at. And But then we looked at looking at things around here and it just the cash flow wouldn't be as good, if that makes sense. So I started saying we've got all this land up front. We own 22 acres and we've got all this land out in front of our house, which we've dreamed of other things, but nothing ever came to fruition. And I said, why don't we build a VRBO out of a grain bin and let people come out. We've got Amish around here, a wonderful campground. There's um, dirt bike riding, parks, uh, lots of different country things to do. There's even a big lake that they can go to. And so I've been talking about it and just this past week or so, you know, I, I told him, I said, we need to make a decision. Interest rates are going up. If we're going to do it, it has to be done now. Otherwise, let's just forget it. And he said, let's go for it. Well, this morning I'm in the house working doing canning so I couldn't stop and he comes in and goes I've been knocking everything down around the barn because where the barn is is where I want to put the VRBO so I'm going to give you a little tour <laughs> let you see I was going to do this anyway yesterday when I was mowing and let you see and oh my gosh he just made what was a mess it looks like a mess too but it was worse so let me let me show you where we're at in this dream I'm so excited I've already gone down to um, the county and gotten the permit for a septic and they're gonna come out I'm gonna have to get a soil guy to come out and check to see where we put it so this um, what I'm dreaming may not happen I know when I built my house they totally told me I couldn't put it there because of septic so everything is depends on that so let me let me give you a little tour and you can see what we're gonna do <laughs> 